Weapon online. Hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. So this week I actually managed to make a really nice speedboat. This is a speedboat that I always wanted to build. And when I started playing from the depths, right, I wanted to build like a 007 speedboat that's basically, you know, looks really fast, uses jets and actually has like a working interior, right? And my first attempt was actually this one. I call this the Mako Shark. Right, and as you can see, it's not really a great design, right? I didn't know about flak at the time. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna put hydrofoils here so that I can skim the water with this thing. This thing is quite cheap, by the way, 14k, right? And it has a jet engine back here, and it has some turbines with some batteries. Uh, let's actually show you the side here. So. Right, so this is the inside of this boat, as you can see. It has cameras and you actually see from the inside, right? And it doesn't have much else, right? And this thing is quite fast, but it tends to fly actually, it ends up flying. And this was like the first, very first month that I've been playing uh, from the depths. I was basically like starting to learn how to breadboard, you know, do a lot of things like that. But I ended up not using this thing in campaign. Instead, I'll show you, get rid of it, right? Instead, I built this for campaign, which is very similar. This one doesn't use just though, right? It uses. Uh, propellers with azipods. This thing is quite fast as well, but it doesn't have You know screens or anything. It's just like a very regular speedboat as you can see it goes 65 almost 70 it Has MLRS on the back. It has some simple weapons in the front and it has also torpedoes because this is mostly anti-sub You know uh, speedboat and this quite this thing is quite cheap as well 40 to K it dodges cram, dodges missiles, but it's quite slow as well. I think it's quite slow. So I wanted to, like this week, I wanted to rebuild the original idea that I had. So get rid of you as well. Eh? This, this is the new boat that I built. And it uses a plasma cannon, it has jets. Actually, custom jets on the back, you can see, and it's very, very, very fast. It goes 130 meters per second, and it's very stable as well. And that's about, I think it's about 460 kilometers per hour. I'm not sure how much miles that is. It's around 300 something, right? Yeah, inside, it looks like this. Actually, working buttons as well. Uh, Five screens, one on the plasma cannon, one on top of the roof, attached to the radar. Uh, these screens actually work, they're not pictures, right? They're actually screens. You've got buttons here, buttons there, you have a working uh, throttle there as well. Let's go, let's go out here. So the interior actually works as well. Let's go down here. Whoop! So these are the jet engines, 70,000. Rust. They're quite they're quite efficient right now. I could probably push these engines a bit more. We've got some materials here. This this um, this ship is actually quite fragile, right? Sometimes I literally get one shot from here because this is the AI compartment here. So if I get shot from here to here, I'm pretty much dead. So uh, so yeah, these are fuel engines. They're basically uh, the generators of this ship inside here there's the plasma cannon 
uh, inside here we got some extra ammunition some extra materials you know this thing doesn't explode that much and this thing is mostly built to counter you know ships with cram and it's quite expensive because the plasma cannon is 70k right it's not so expensive here we have uh, MLRS and these will actually overlap each other when there's an enemy on one side or another just like the Gemini if you watched my uh, channel right you probably know about the Gemini let's let's, let's make it make it slow motion here there you go so you, can, you guys can see it router here coming to see these guys overlap Watch. on see they're overlapping there and it does the same thing on the right side as well close this door uh, I still need to decorate this this ship or this speedboat you can see it's very shiny try to make it like super shiny super sleek this is the plasma cannon it has 109 firepower 270 2700 uh, damage per burst right and it bursts around 15 times i think it's i think it's 50 times i think it's more actually I'm not sure it's around 12 or 15 times so it's a lot of damage so i try to make an aps cannon here but problem is i'm gonna show you I only have three blocks here right and that means that it's I'm not gonna have like a huge amount of firepower so I had to use a plasma cannon this is nine by nine by the way yeah this thing is pretty good it hits quite hard and it's quite accurate as well got some mannequins hello this guy is a little bit scared but that's fine I've got some cameras here, infrared camera here, some lasers, got an active radar and this thing has a 90 degree radar mimicked and also have some munition warners and this, th this thing tracks incoming cram and it tells the breadboard to dodge you know left and right or whatever direction the cram is uh, coming from, this is something that I uh, invented as you can see, I still need to decorate some stuff. Anyway, let's go back inside. Okay, let's go in. I'm gonna show you inside. I'll close this door. Okay, we have three seats, right? So you can get you and your buddies inside. All right, let's give this thing a little bit of gas. You can see this thing moves. Whoa, okay. Whoa! Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So, 90 meters per second, right? This is like 50% throttle. Boy, these rocks here. Let's look from the outside so you can see how fast it is. down here a little bit and we give it more gas and as you can see it hits 130 meters per second and it bounces around a little bit but uh, probably make it a bit more stable but it turns almost on a dime right look at this Whee! so fast so nimble so I'm gonna test this thing against some uh, vehicles and we're going to see what's going to happen. So, let's spawn in a pedal gun. Let's see, pedal gun, 2000 meters. All right, let's see how well it does against the pedal gun. Uh, tell Rambot not to repair. As you can see, it's uh, trying to dodge those APS already. And uh, we already hit the battle gun then. 
96% already. As you can see, oh, the the miss, some of the missiles go a little bit up, some of them go a little bit down. Oh, and I think the pedal gun is already done. And I probably just hit myself. I am missing a lot with the plasma cannon, but I think it's because he is such a shallow target. Oh, I keep hitting myself with the missiles. And he's dead already. Oh yeah. Fire. Let's try against something a bit harder. Let's see, let's try. Ransack. Good damage there with the missiles. This thing is quite uh, shallow as well. Has a very hard time trying to predict where I'm gonna go. Here comes the missiles. Uh, they're they're kind of ignoring the uh, flares there. Yeah, he's, he's not even hitting me. Oh, torpedoes are kind of useless as well. Because it's skimming the water, so there's no real, like, sonar signature. Let's see, what are they doing, these torpedoes? They're not really doing anything, look at them. Yep. They lost my signature there. Because this thing barely touches the water. Almost flying. But I could make this thing even faster if I want to, but I'm just gonna keep it like this because this is gonna be like a fun campaign vehicle, you know. It's going to be like a support, you know, support speedboat. That's all it's going to do. And right now I don't have Chef, I don't have ECM. So I might also add that, so like. It will sort of like protect also the other vehicles by turning on Chef and ECM. Which percent you have? You are 83%, so... And I think it's dead. I'm not sure. No, still fine. I need to make the detection a little bit better. Oh yeah, and I can also give this thing smoke. That will also uh, make it a lot harder to hit. Oh, I got hit in the glass there. So that's just like tinted glass, by the way. And the camouflage is actually custom camouflage. It's, uh, you know... One of those camouflages you can get from uh, Google. As you can see, the MLRS will automatically overlap each other. Look at that. Oh. You can see oh, they overlap each other quite easily. Also, I need to check if it does all right on rough seas because this one is like clear, you know, clear weather with like 2.5 weather uh, wave. I mean, wave, I think 2.5 wave count. I'm not sure if it's wave count or you know wave size. I'm not sure, but I always test them like this. This thing is going down. Also try the against Iron Maiden because that's quite this you know heavy armor, it has some metal. Oops, there it goes. 
Heights. Let's try some rough weather here. Let's see what happens. Weather... Five? And five percent, right? Should be some rough weather there. can see it. Still does all right. It's not flipping, it's not really... It's doing alright. I mean, those are some huge waves, right? Let's reduce that a little bit. Like that. And you can see the breadboard will automatically tone down the uh, jet engine so it doesn't, you know, basically fly. going 120 almost even with these waves so it, it's, it's doing okay doing all right might have to make my ship a little bit heavier especially in the middle so it doesn't uh, flop around so much that is not bad all right you stop so i still need to decorate this thing it still uh, has some decorations that i need to make but yeah, this thing's gonna be on my workshop soon. Let's see, let's try something a bit harder here, right? Let's try an Iron Maiden. By the way, the cost is 130k, but the cost is mostly from this plasma cannon. 67,000 materials, right? 67,000 materials, that is so expensive. But uh, like I said, because it flops uh, up and down so much, I had to use a plasma cannon because it's quite uh, reliable. Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, try the Iron Maiden. So you can see the plasma cannon. There's uh, there's a camera there. I also have a camera on the radar, so I can I can have like almost. Mostly 60. Oh, this, this camera has been damaged. Camera's damaged. So I'm definitely getting hit here. Yeah, this camera here got damaged, as you can see. It's not there anymore. I think some good damage there. Might have to add a uh, behavior, not behavior card, uh, aim point selection card, yeah. Because it kind of spreads, spreading the plasma everywhere. Oh, there it goes. That's uh, directed with the plasma on the turret. You can see it's doing some really good damage with, the, with that uh, plasma da uh, cannon, I mean. Plasma damage, plasma cannon. can see it's kind of trying to dodge those missiles. I might put some missile interceptor on this thing, but I'm not sure. So I might just keep it like this. Uh, missiles? Oh, very late dodge there. I need to add the munition warners, that's right. And I'll mimic them and just make them invisible. So I think right now it's um, it's not dodging the missiles right now. I think it's just trying to dodge the APS and the uh, cram cannons. Okay, Iron Maiden is 84%. Take a look at her. She's, uh, she's getting open. And if you look at the materials, right, it's not really consuming a huge amount of materials. It's not like super efficient, right? Because I have like two, uh, what do you call them? Injector engines, right? And they consume quite a lot of materials when they're running to charge the plasma cannon. But let's face it, I, I just can't put uh, steam turbines on this thing because there's no space, right? It's 
going down. Yeah, I think the cannon is... is AP, oh, no, never mind, never mind, no. Is APS cannon still working? You can see the plasma cannon is just bursting. I said that with the breadboard, basically just a timer, right? So I need to make it a bit more intelligent where, for example, it counts how many times uh, it shot the plasma cannon and then it stops to recharge. I need to do that. Because so I did that for another ship that has like missiles. But I need to figure out a way to do the same with the plasma cannon. Anyway, this thing has one against the Iron Maiden as well. Remember, I'm not repairing anything. I don't have smoke. I don't have, you know, don't have a lot of uh, countermeasures. All right, I'm going to add some munition warners. Right, one here. I'm going to add some because I definitely need them. Some here. Later on, I'll just make these guys invisible. Put one here. Put a couple on the back. Let's see it. Put one here. One here as well. And I'm gonna put a couple facing up. That's fine. Right, I think that added 1k more material cost. Uh, let's not stay here, right? Because this archipelago is quite tight. Uh, let's go here. You can kind of see when it falls down. Let, let me do that again. Hold on. When it falls down, as you can see, it kind of turns off the jet engine so it doesn't, you know, fly. Right, let's try against something that is quite overpowered. Let's try against the crossbones. Can I beat the crossbones with this thing? I don't think so. I don't think I can. It was gonna happen. Okay, here comes the cram. And it's definitely dodging it there. Yep. We did some really good damage there. 100k with the... Missiles and 30k with the plasma cannon. Now you have to remember, plasma is not that great against uh, fragile targets, and although the crossbones is quite OP, firepower-wise. Oh, what's the cram? Okay. <laughs> firepower-wise is quite OP, but like uh, armor-wise, it's you know it's just wood. Most of it is just wood. It does have some heavy armor here and there. So far doing okay. Already took 2% there. Dodging those cram pretty well. Try against something that has missiles. To check if doing alright. It's also dodging the flag quite alright. Remember this thing is only alloyed, it has some metal here and there, but that's just to, you know, to balance the craft so it doesn't flip. Oh, don't get too close. Don't get too close. Right. So far so good, right? Check the damage here. You can see it has really good sea whiz. Definitely doing something to it. Oh, beautiful. Nice dodge. So I'm using the breadboard to dodge the uh, incoming cram. Okay, we didn't hit it with the missiles. I mean, didn't hit all, all the volley with the missiles, you know. Alright, let's see what happens here. Oh, watch out. Oh, see how it turned. That's beautiful. That's working. That is working. Ooh. This uh, 
not super stable right now, the crossbones. Nothing down here. A small speedboat, right? I mean, it's not that big. How, how big are you? 64 length, I mean, it's quite small. Keeping up with a battleship. Though it's a DWG battleship. But this thing is quite uh, fragile against uh, APS that is fast. Because, well, you can't really dodge uh, APS that is fast or, you know, lasers. Yeah, and yeah, Pack, you know, Pack's gonna give me problems with this, uh, this boat. You can kind of see that radar is tracking the cram. Right, let's. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cameron, this game is so fast. Oh, 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 we got hit. Got hit. We're okay, I, I got some, you know, spaced armor there. We're fine, we're fine. 94%. To dodge. All of these missiles again. Yeah, I think she, I think the sea was is damaged now, so doing some really good damage with the missiles now. The cram, watch the cram, watch the cram. Ooh, oh, we got hit again. Definitely got hit there. Yeah, on the other side. That's it. Defeating the crossbones slowly. I can definitely reduce cost if like I remove the plasma cannon right and I just put like an MLRS that pops up and down and just have like you know 30 or maybe even 40 like uh, medium I mean small missiles right that continuously shoot and over time that will probably defeat the sea whiz of the crossbones but I you know plasma cannon is quite good oh watch out It makes, you know, a small build like this kind of viable now. Big ram, good. So I'm not driving it, right? In fact, I'm gonna... Hold on, where's... Where's Rampot? Here, I'm just gonna... Exit here. Right. It's doing quite well. Oh, we lost the mannequins! No! He got my mannequins. Seventy percent. You can see it's quite fast. Look at this. Yeah, she's going down. He's definitely going down. Yep, that cram is damaged. I think if I had aim point selection right, I could probably do a bit better. But you can see it's so fast that it makes cram kind of useless. This is why you don't want to use just, you know, cram. You know, mix it up. Oh, 
okay, we got hit finally. What happened? Oh, he got he got my engines. He got my engines. Uh oh. He got my engines. Okay, I think the missiles are still fine. Yeah. Oh, it, oh, it's doing the funny. It's doing the funny. Uh oh. Okay, oh, we just barely won there. This thing is really good though. Very proud of it. Well, I still need to improve this quite a lot. Still not satisfied, but uh, it looks cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to subscribe and like if you want to see more FTD stuff. And I'll see you for more FTD videos. Thank you for watching.